Close fight. Yeah, go fight. Let's go, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. That's on now. All right, boys. Look, just like how we started on, on Tuesday night, you lost started with the right intensity and the right uh, fight and the right desire and you ended up winning the game comfortably. I'm going to be a broken record and I'll happily be a broken record. Whenever you match someone's intensity, your quality will always outshine them. It's the last five games of the season, let's finish strong. Let's finish strong, let's show our quality, let's show what we're here for and finish strong. And the pitch is shit, so be careful when you're taking that touches and that ball and put your body in front of it. Ali, shut down, yeah, shut down the centre backs having the ball too much down in their feet and kicking it long, please. Yeah. I want you to shut that down. Yeah. Big one of three. One, two, three! Hands up! 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 Hands Relax, 
Aggression when the fucking half time whistle gets blown. The only person that can walk out of that pitch with a little bit of pride is that man sitting in the corner. Because he fought for every single loose ball. You don't want to turn around and fight and argue with players now when the fucking half time whistle got blown. You don't have no character, the lot of you lot. I'll be honest with you guys, you don't have no character whatsoever. What lie has a lot of you that have no balls, no uh, nothing about you lot, bro. You wait up until that moment for these dickheads to rattle you lot. That's what you're gonna wait for to get aggressive. When your teammates in need, you're not gonna go half hearted and get across to help him. And when there's a loose ball, you're gonna fucking watch a man win it. But when the half time also gets ball, you wanna run across like you're fucking Superman. You're not bad. You're footballers. This ain't the road, why you're actually gonna fucking fight, you're not gonna fight, bro. Well, that's embarrassing you, man. We caused our own issues. We had howlers, fair enough. Show that aggression on the pitch. You guys are all fucking mature, you're not a bunch of 16 year olds <coughs> man, it's embarrassing. Man. <coughs> One guy said two words, even before the half time whistle. He's talking to some of you like on the pitch. He has every right to do what he's doing over there when he's wasting time. You don't do the same when you have a lead. Get the lead and earn the right to do that. They have every right to behave the way they're behaving because they're winning the fucking game, they're doing everything right. You lot are doing everything wrong and rather than having a look at yourself, you're kicking the floor. I'm seeing some people kick the floor in frustration, whining at the ref. Show it on the fucking pitch. Have a bit of heart about you, little lie. You're showing your aggression in the wrong way. All I saw at halftime, one lie, me doing that, I'm going to because it was embarrassing from a lot of you, little lie. Shut up, you in particular, and you're saying you're the two most experienced players on our team, and you're behaving like a bunch of little kids. You don't just show that halftime, you lot are defeated. Because they're going to go in there laughing and look at a lot of you lot. Show that aggression on the pitch, guys, man. Well, I hear a lot better than this, please, man. Yeah, stop, hey, 
guys hide when the going gets tough. So this is a wake up call for a lot of you lot. Like we have five games to go. I don't know how you lot for. Maybe some of you lot have given up. I haven't lost faith. I haven't lost faith. But we need to start behaving like men. When we're on the pitch for that 90 minutes, we leave all the whining and crying and moaning to the side bro. Just behave like men for 90 minutes, get a job done, and then we see where your talent gets you. But I feel like we know we have the talent, but we lack the other little things. And those minor details are what counts in the game. Tell it not always get you far enough for life. So like I said, we have five more games, man. We got training on Monday. Some of you guys, for some reason, were acting oblivious to the fact that there was training on Monday and acting like you didn't know. We have training on Monday from now on. There's no more Thursdays. So inshallah, we'll see you all on Monday and then we've got a game on Wednesday again. You just need to be, you need to rediscover the hunger, boys. That's the biggest, biggest thing. We're not the same team that we were at the start of the season. That's the biggest thing. Get that, then we're back on track. So. We've got a cup final on Wednesday. I said, you can turn up and be rolled over, or you can win that cup final on Wednesday. That's it, really. Alright, boys, let's go. Let's go, sir. Come, come. Okay, Hilltop TV, today we're with Gino and Abdullah. Gino. Tough pill to swallow today. That's quite easy, we just weren't good enough. It's very, very simple. We're not good enough, then we don't deserve to get anything out of the game. And we won. <coughs> it's, it's been three Saturdays where we've conceded essentially nine goals in three weeks. Talk to me. It's not good enough. Um, everything, the, doing the basic communication, um, sticking with a player, and just, just basic decision making has not been good enough last few games. I'm denying. Since you've been back, it's not been our best of times. What's, what's been going? What's been going wrong? I don't know. It's very hard to say what's been going on. Just looking at the last three games in the moment, there's no hunger. There's no. There's no characters out there that just wants to win games. Um, they're deep motivated at the moment. And on top of that, 
for them being fasting and everything has an impact on their mood and they swing in terms of winning any games in the moon. Would you would you say would you say it's been would you say it's been Ramadan that's been that had a factor to play? Or has it been just our ability of being unmotivated, looking like nonchalant on the pitch, lethargic? Ramadan is supposed to be blessing, so I don't know why you want to use that as an excuse. But uh, this was way before Ramadan yeah. that they've been going through this bad run, and the individuals not not want to fight for their badge. To be honest with you, um, after the Lions' defeat, watching the view and watching. When it's laying game, it just shows that a lot of people are not on it. They don't want it anymore. And they put their mind on it. That, that's it. We can't win the title. We're not going to get any points anymore. And that requires a lot of bollocking in terms of telling them the truth and telling them what they're good at. Because this is a team that's been playing fantastic the whole season. This is a team that had a great, great crowds coming to watch them. This is a team that deserved the title, to be honest with you. But in this is the football modern days, and that people are not just gonna roll over and just give you the title just like that. So how we started is how you finish, and how we playing at the moment is not how we started, and and that is down to what individual and collective as individual players wants because if they all want to win then they will play to their best because at the moment it look like a long kick, long pass, long everything and that's not a system that we play to be honest with you okay so we've got five or six games left five five games to go how do we turn it around because you have to go, I understand you have to go through some sort of adversity throughout the season this is our adversity now. It looks like we have unmotivated players. How do we motivate them? Do you know? Just go, doing the basics, go back to the basics, what we were. Everything comes from that. If you get that right, doing the basics, everyone working hard, being positive, then the individual quality comes through. But without the working hard and doing the basics, it doesn't matter how much ability you have on the ball. We need to take them out for food. <laughs> Find different sort of motivation, I'll be honest with you. Because no matter whatever drills that we did and or do for them, it's not going in. So we need to find some sort of a activity outside football for them to push them this last five games. I'm telling you, and I'm going to tell you again, I don't think it's over. But a lot of people will, will probably have a different view of that. But the players need to believe that. There's no point in us as the coaches and staff saying it's not over, it's not over. If the bloody same players they're going on the pitch, they don't believe those same statements that we're saying every week in, week out. So we need to find different motivation. Hopefully, our next training session, we do some team bonding and find different ways to motivate them, and we'll go back out there Wednesday and hopefully get some sort of results on the board. I can't lie. Since I think since London Lions, I've been saying the season's still not done. Mm. It's still not done. It's still not done. Because there's, there's a lot of games coming up and one thing I've noticed about this league here that we play in week in, week out, anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen. I've seen Bagshot going 4-3 against us. Yeah. We've lost 1-0 to Chapel. Yeah. So anything can happen. All I'm saying to you guys, last five games, somehow, somewhere you guys need to come together, make up a plan and come back to winning ways, yeah? Deal? Deal. Deal? Inshallah. <laughs> I right, hope TV. I'm gonna see you on next week. Hopefully, we do win. <laughs>